Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I blow dry my hair. So I'm starting off with washed and deep conditioned hair. You can check my previous video for how I do that. And my hair is not drenched. It's been up in a towel for about 10 minutes. So I'm just going to section it off and start the blow drying process. So when I'm parting the sections off, I do twist my hair back up to try and retain some moisture for when I'm applying my products because I like it when it's a little bit wet because the products can absorb better so yeah I part it off into four sections and twist it up into those buns as you can see so before I start the blow drying process I'm just gonna apply all the products first that way I can just breeze through the blow drying in this routine I'm using the Afogee keratin and green tea restructurizer this strengthens instantly it builds body and it also helps to protect color and chemical services so this product will be good if you dye your hair which I used to do which is why I bought this but the other benefits of this product are also good if you don't treat your hair chemically. I haven't dyed my hair in over two years, but maybe once I stop breastfeeding, I probably will go ahead and do that again. It has hydrolyzed vegetable protein, so I guess this is more of a protein treatment, which is good because I'm about to put it through some stress, so it's going to need it. It also says that styling with heat locks in the treatment, so maybe it's a bit like the two system protein treatment where you have to blow dry it dry. So it looks like this product is a good product when using heat because as it says the heat locks in the treatment. So I'm just going to spray that all over my hair and rake it through. So the next product I'm going to be using is the Caracare Silk and Seal. It's a blow drying complex. The amount that this costs for such a little product, look, it's tiny. It seals the cuticle surfaces, creating a sheen and softness. It also eases the glide of styling brushes during blow drying and it contains no oil and dries to a non-greasy finish and it also creates body and a silky smooth texture so I apply a small amount of this on my hair just because I don't want my hair to be too weighed down on the packaging it says to use a dime size I probably use twice that amount because my hair is quite long it's like a serum basically but um, some of the serums that I've used previously have been too oily and it weighs my hair down so if you're looking for a serum that doesn't weigh your hair down this is a good one to get i'm going to concentrate this on my ends and work the product up to my roots <laughs> one of the gray hairs fell out <laughs> good be gone and lastly i'm going to use some heat protectant on my hair this is the Cantu thermal shield again this is a new product that i'm using i usually use a tresemme one but i just wanted to try something different because i just felt like the tresemme one dries my hair out a bit too much. This thermal shield feels very nourishing in my hair. It just made my hair feel really soft without that oily feeling. And then I just repeat those steps for each section. So the leave-in spray, the silk and seal serum, and then the heat protectant on top. And I just twist it back up and twist it into those buns once I'm finished. Oh my god, it smells like they're leaving conditioner. It's bringing back some memories, boy. Oh, I haven't used that leaving conditioner for ages. Oh, missed it. Reminds me of Jamaica when I was went to Jamaica. Reminds me of all my holidays, really. Damn, I need a holiday. Right, my hair's it's not really that wet, so the Blow drying time should, shouldn't really be that long. So this time, I'm not going to use my hair dryer and a brush. I've actually gone ahead and bought myself this hair dryer. I've used it a few times and it makes things so much easier. Like, literally it's just like, mm. <laughs> you know, instead of being like, Especially as my hair is getting longer and longer, so yeah, I recommend this. It's like the comb hair dryer, but paddle brush version. I'm going to start off my hair with level one, and then once it is all dry, I'm going to blast it over on level two. I'm hoping 
It's not going to be too loud for the baby. Let's see. Oh, it's really loud. So the blow drying step is a vital step for achieving a good result when straightening your hair. You want to blow out your hair as straight as possible without using too high of a heat. So I use the lowest heat on each section until it's completely dry. And once it's dry, I blast it using a higher heat to try and get it straight as possible. But back in the day, I didn't have a care in the world and I knew nothing about heat damage prevention or even heat damage. I didn't even know that I had heat trained hair. And I just used to blow dry my hair on a high heat all the time, steam up the room and getting all choky and all of that. <laughs> but I know better now and it's always going to be low heat first and then high heat at the end. My hair feels so soft, ends are trash down. It's not way down, it's light, it's fluffy and it's soft and it doesn't feel dry. It might look a little bit dry but it's actually not dry. I've had to put my fan on because this first section has got me a bit heated already. So on to the next. No trying is the worst. I think it's the worst part, 100%. So once all the sections are done, I go ahead and do a once over with all the sections together on a high heat just to get those mid sections blow dried as well because sometimes they can get missed. Drying it's the worst. <laughs> so, this is the outcome of the blow dry. Okay. Mm -hmm. Looking like, what's that? Adam's family character. <laughs> this one. <laughs> oh, it. It's, I think he's called it. No, that's the clown. Once I've blow dried it all together on a higher heat, I go ahead and use a cool shot as well, just to cool the hair back down. Well, that wasn't really cool in that hair dryer, so it was a waste of time. Right, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take a break, because I'm really hot. Oh, it's so flowy and fluffy, look at it. Whoosh. how I blow dry my hair. I'm gonna go ahead and straighten my hair now. So if you'd like to see a video on that, subscribe to my channel. It should be up after this video. I was gonna put my blow drying and my straightening routine together, but the video was just way too long. It was coming up to about 30 minutes. But anyway, thanks for watching guys. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. I'm just gonna pull it out like this. 
and go drink some more wine. Get crunk before I trim this junk. Thank you.